Make sure you stand to the end guys, we'll share common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having Ford Escape that generation here from year 2012, 13 to year 2019. If you have one of those, you have a problem where the radiator fan does not work. In this video, we'll explain what can easily cause that. It could be multiple things, but first we'll start by checking some fuses and relays because it could be super simple fix and why to waste your money. We will explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, radiator fans at a good price, quick shipping that way do not waste money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have that generation Ford Escape from year 2013 to 2019, this specifically is pre-facelifted version, this is the facelifted version. There will be some minor differences, we'll talk about that, but we'll make a video about every single possible fuse, relay, why we do that. Let's say guys, you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuse for fuel pump or engine starter is located, or relay for radiator fan, you can just search that on our channel, watch the video for less one or two minutes find out where it is replace it in your back on the road we do that to save you money guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can and we guys have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels as well that can save you more than thousands of dollars in future repairs if you guys need to buy any parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so the radiator fan if it doesn't work what you need to check we will demonstrate on that generation for the escape here this is the same generation guys this is the version before the facelift this is the one after the facelift but it's the same generation it will work for both there are multiple two fuses and I believe four or five relays that we need to check uh, that can control the radiator fan, radiator fan control module, low, high speed. So we'll talk about that. Uh, and first we need to go ahead and open the hood. So open the hood on your forward escape. Here facing the engine on the right side you have that fuse box, open it. Underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here guys now what we need to check two fuses and multiple relays then we'll explain what else can cause the radiator fan not to work first we're going to come okay in that middle section right here we'll need to check fuse number nine that fuse right here fuse number 14 right there after that you need to check relay number one you may or may not have this one right here relay number five it will be this one third one here relay number six guys okay relay six uh one second will be that one right here relay six you need to check relay 12 which will be that one here and relay 15 right there so now what else can cause the radiator fan not to work could be multiple things one could be bad radiator fan we have a video on our channels how to test radiator fan on ford two it could be bad radiator fan control module that's a computer for the fan that has different speeds i believe the ford escape uh, might have up to nine or ten speeds for the radiator fan we have video on how to repair guys i believe how to test the radiator fan control module on ford if they're bad it will not work or it will be stuck in low pos in uh, one speed or low speed another thing you need to check the connector 
you need to check the coolant temperature sensor that it's working correctly and that it's plugged up because if the engine doesn't detect that the coolant is hot if the coolant temperature sensor is not working correctly your radiator fan may not work hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time